Well, I think a lot depends on how you measure success. I think the fact that law and order has been restored has created an enabling environment for, um, particularly for, I think, for people, for their peace and security, for women, children, but creating the environment for business, stabilising finances, uh, providing services across the nine provinces. If you measure it in that sense, yes, very much so. But now you have to take responsibility for the future and really work very hard at resolving issues of conflict that, you have, that each community has across the region. But I think um, a deeper understanding, hopefully, that every nation, however small, participated in Ramsey and that it has been valued by the people of the Solomon Islands. And that the Bukatawa Declaration uh, is, is strong because of that collective ownership and the political commitment um, to ensure that peace would come to the Solomon Islands. It didn't matter how small the countries were. You heard it, you know, countries like Niue, who have 16 policemen that they sent to, that was valued, and, that, and how important each one of us are going forward. I think that's, that's fundamental. And that you're not alone. And you've got to look at, uh, have a long-term view, view rather than short-term gains. And we are diverse across the region, but in the end, we are one family held together by this Pacific Ocean.